Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. See me learn Chinese. 大家好，欢迎来到我的频道 Sumi 学中文。What day is it today? Or these few days? Recently, we are embracing Christmas. 大家知道最近是什么日子吗？最近应该是要迎接欢乐的圣诞节。So Sumi, I'm here to wish you guys Merry Christmas. Sumi 在这里祝大家圣诞快乐，圣诞快乐，圣诞快乐 ，Merry Christmas. So today we're gonna learn something about Christmas. So I'm gonna have a lesson about the 三三声变调 That means two or three characters when they are. All pronounced as the third character of the third term. Sometimes we have to make some changes. So today we're gonna learn these rules. So it is about the Chinese grammar. So I hope you guys will love this special episode, Christmas episode. So let's check it out. Hi guys, today we are gonna learn the. Terms when you are speaking Chinese, when you are have the spoken language, sometimes there are different rules. So today we are gonna learn one special rules about different characters when they are all sharing the third term. Then we have to make some changes when we are reading aloud, which is 三声连读变调 Okay, so we're gonna learn this rule. Based on the very happy topic, which is 欢度圣诞 we celebrate the Christmas happily. Okay, 欢度圣诞欢度圣诞 Okay, so today we're gonna learn 认识认识 learn 三声连读 That means, uh, uh, several characters. They are all when they are connected. Okay, they are following each other, and they are all sharing the third tone. 变调 that we that means you have to change the tone, change the tone. 规律 is the rule, is the rule. So today we're gonna learn how do we change the tone when we come across with. Two or more than two characters when they are all sharing the third tone. You see, do you like the Christmas the center? Like Sumi, I'm now wearing a center hat. Hope you guys like it. Okay, okay. So then, so come back to our lessons. Okay, so today we're gonna learn the 三声连读变调的规律 So we're gonna learn the rules about the Term the the terms of the uh the change of the terms. So today I'm gonna tell you there's two there's two main points we have to uh pay attention to. Okay, two focuses. So as there's no English on the screen, so you have pay attention on your listening. Okay, so we did it on purpose because I want to help you guys to train more your listening skills. You know, in the new HSK, we also care about the listening. So in this case, I will try to explain the rules in Chinese and also with the English translation. So you have to pay one hundred. Okay, no, it's like um ten thousand out of one hundred. You know, attention to this lesson. Okay, so we're gonna separate. Okay, we have two main points of these rules. The first one is when two characters. Pay attention to this one. Two characters. That means when two characters when they connected to each other, and these two characters are both pronounced as the third tone. Then the first one. 第一个字，第一个字 ，the first character， 去变读成 ，you have to change the pronunciation as 第二声 ，change to the second tone. Okay, and the last character remain the third tone. Okay, 最后一个字仍
读成第三声，最后一个字仍读成第三声。Okay, that means when two characters when they stick together. Okay, two characters are both pronounced as third tone. Then the first one should change to the second tone when you are reading aloud. When you are speaking, okay, the first character with the third tone, you have to read it as the second tone, and then we have to keep the last character remain the original tone, the third tone, okay. So it is, 当两个三声字连读的时候，当两个三声字连读的时候 ，when two characters, okay. Three or a sheer three tones, and we have a they stick together. Then the first one, 第一个字 need to be pronounced. 需要读成第二声 pronounced as the second tone. The last character remain the original tone, the third tone. 最后一个字仍读成第三声 Okay. So for example, 手指手指 What is 手指 Your finger, okay. Your finger. 手指手指的手 Let's turn the uh. Let's turn the sound. Okay. 手手手第三声指指指指 is also the third tone. So when you are reading, you will say 手指 It's so weird. So we're gonna change the first uh, first character, the first character, into the second tone, into the second tone. So we、we'll、read it as "shou shou shou zhi." We mean the third tone. So it should be "shou shou shou zhi shou zhi." Okay. So do you get it? And also, it's the second focus which I want you to pay attention to. Actually, it's the same. So when you when you are reading a sentence, when you are reading aloud, okay, of course you will come across with loads of characters stuck together, and all of them pronounced as the third tone. So in that case, in that case, okay, we only only keep. The last character as the third tone, and change every characters before the last character into the second tone. Okay, so in this case, it's talking about when three characters share the three uh the third tones together. You have to remember sometimes see more than three characters, maybe four characters, maybe five characters. Okay, but the main point is. No matter how many characters we come up、uh, across with, just remember, we will only keep the last character with the third tone. Only keep the last character as the third tone, and change every character which are supposed to, okay to pronounce at the third tone, change it into second tone. For example, 可以把 Okay, 可可可 is third tone, right? 可可可 okay, 以 which is 以以以 okay, 可以把把把 it is also the third tone. So what does it mean? That means we have to change. Okay, we only keep the last one. We、we'll、only keep the last one. The last one is, ba. We、we'll、only keep the last one as the third tone, and change. Rest of them, okay, okay. Rest of them into the second tone, okay. Remember it. So it is, ke 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 yi 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 ke yi ba ke yi ba. 可以吧 ？Okay, so remember it. Okay, 
So do you get the main point of the main focus of the lesson? If you know the rules of the lesson, then it is our time to practice. Are you ready? Are you ready? Don't, okay, we should have confidence. Remember, practice makes perfect, okay? So let's check it. So now you can see there is a paragraph and I hope you guys can practice more, okay? So this one is like Li Yi, Chinese name, okay? Mei De and Zhi Hao. Zai Feng Xue Ho, Zhao Li Lao Shi, Shang Liang, Jin Nian, the Sheng Dan Huo Dong An Pai. Okay, that means Li Yi, Mei De, and Zhi Hao. After school, okay, they came, they came to Miss Lee after school to discuss the, the arrangement of the Christmas party this year, okay? So it is their conversation. Let's read aloud, okay? Let's read aloud. Li Laoshi, Ni Men Ti Da Nuan Nuan Shen Dan Ye Huo Dong, Ji Yo Yi Yi, Yo Yo Chuang Yi. 但是怎么送? 送什么? 你们都想好了吗? Okay, let's read this first sent the first paragraph first. I want you guys to pay attention to it. Which characters? Which characters share third term at the same time? Okay, let's find it. Let's find it together. Okay. Get your pencil ready, okay? If you have your e-pencil, which can draw something on your notebook, on your pen, on your laptop, that's amazing, that's wonderful. If you don't have, you can also take out your notebook and write it down. It's also an acceptable way to practice, okay? So you can see the first one. Do you still remember the tone sign? It should be the first tone, the second tone, the third tone, and the fourth tone. 第一声, 第二声, 第三声, and 第四声, okay. So it is number one, 李老师, right? 李老师他有这个, this one. Two characters, okay, and then 你们提议的暖暖, okay, third tone, okay. 活动既有意义,又有创意,但是怎么送,送什么,你们都想好了吗? Okay, so you can see in the first paragraph, we have three phrases. They are all sharing the third tone. So let's read aloud, let's read aloud. 你们, uh, 李老师, do you still remember when two characters come across, okay, and they are all sharing the third tone. What is the rule? What should we change? Do you still remember the rules? We only keep the last character as the third tone and change the previous one as the second tone, okay? So we'll pronounce it as second tone. Li Li, Li Lao Shi. Li Lao Shi, okay. This one we won't pronounce as nuan 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 nuan. We won't say nuan nuan. Sheng Dan Ye, right? We will change the first one into the second tone. Nuan 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 nuan. Okay. So what is the third one? What is the third one? Xiang Xiang. Ha ha ha. Xiang xiang. Xiang hao la. Xiang hao la. Shouldn't pronounce as xiang. Xiang hao. That is so weird when you are speaking, okay? So, xiang xiang. This one is not correct. Xiang xiang. Xiang. Xiang hao la. Okay. So, let's read these three characters together. These three phrases, okay? It is li lao. Li lao shi. Li lao, nuan nuan, nuan nuan, and xiang hao, xiang hao. 
Wonderful, wonderful. So you see, it is not that it's not that difficult, right? So let's do it. The second one, let's learn it. Okay, practice makes perfect. So don't worry, we can do it better. Okay, don't worry. The next one, 利益，我每年都收到很多圣诞礼物，又没怎么用。不如我们在学校发起一个回收圣诞礼物的行动吧。So now I will give you few seconds to spot. Is there any characters share the third tone at the same time? When they're connected to each other, they're sharing the third tone. Let's check it one by one. Okay, first one is wonderful. 我美。And then what else? What else? What else? Let's search the third tone sign. Do you see it? Is there any third tone? They con they connected together. Uh oh. Do you spot anyone else? Any else? Okay. You shouldn't. You don't have. So it is the last. Is this the only one of this paragraph? So, which one should we change into the second tone? Is 我 or 美 Which one we should change it to the second tone? One or two? Yes, the first one. 我我 pronounce it as the second tone. Pronounce it as the second tone. 我我我美我美我每年都收很多我我我每年 Okay, 我每年 Okay, and then the next paragraph. May De said, "Hey, Li Yi, 咱俩真是想到一块儿去了。我们可以把这些礼物送给有需要的人。Okay, so can you spot which characters share the same third tone? Obviously, the one I use as the demonstration, as the sample." What is the rest of the the san san shong zi ci? Do you find it? Okay, I give you a few seconds. Yes, these two. Gei yo, right? Gei yo. Even though they are not a phrase, but they are two characters connected together in one sentence. But when we are reading the loudly sentence, we have to stick to the Tone changes. We have to change the tone. We have to follow the rules. We have to keep the last one as the third tone and change the rest of them into the second tone. Okay. So in this case, we have to read as. 可可一一把可以把给给有有有给有给给不是读给不是读给 original tone is 给给有需要 ，but this time 给给给有需要 ，OK， 把这些礼物送给给送给有需要的人，送给有需要的人 ，wonderful，OK，and、okay. in the next paragraph， do you find it？ It's very easy to spot it. Just remember the sign. Do you still remember what sign is it of the third tone？ Do you still remember it？ Like this, okay, just fine. Two more than two signs they stick together, and then we may just circle it. Do you find it? Hmm. This uh, this idea, good. 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 So the first one, this one, 一举两得 Even though it's one phrase with four sent four characters, but there's two characters. Okay, share the second, share the third tone. So we have to, we have to circle it. Okay, I will make it clear. Okay, like this, 举两现在天气冷了，我建议我们也可以。买几条 ？Okay, <clears throat> so that's three, three. So in this case, 
That's easy. Just change. Okay, exclude the sec the last character and change all of them to the second tone. Okay, so let's read it. Yi zhu zhu liang liang liang. Yi zhu zhu yi zhu liang de. Okay, that is the correct sound. Don't pronounce as yi zhu 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 yi zhu liang de. That's not correct. We should pronounce as yi zhu zhu yi zhu liang de. Okay, this one. Ye ye ye. Ye ye ye, third tone. Ke ke ke, third tone. Yi yi yi, third tone. Change the first two characters into the two tone, second tone. So it should be ye ye, ke ke, ye ye, ke yi, ye ye, ye ke yi, okay. Ye ke yi. Mai mai, mai, ji ji ji, mai mai, mai, mai ji tiao, the second tone. My 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 几条 Stop saying my 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 几条 Not correct. It should be the second tone. My 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 几条 my 几条 Okay. So let's see the rest of them. 送毛毯不如送围巾。同样的钱。可以买更多的围巾，让更多的人感受到温暖。So in this case, I'm sure that all of you have already spotted it. Which one? I think it is very easy. This one. 可以买 right? So if you guys know the answer, don't hesitate to comment below and please mark the pronunciation after the change. Based on the rules, okay. Like when we are speaking this sentence or this phrases, which tone I should use, okay? Instead of writing the correct tone, but the spoken tone, okay. If you know, don't hesitate to come on, come on below. I'm very happy to communicate with you guys. So this one, very easy. We、we'll、just keep the last one as the third tone and change all of them. The rest of them into the second tone. So it is. Now I'm reading the spoken term. Okay, it should be ke 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 yi 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 mai 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 ke yi mai. Okay, ke ke yi yi ke yi mai 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 ke yi mai. So stop saying ke yi mai. Not correct. It should be ke yi mai mai ke yi mai. Wonderful. Okay, I know it is a little bit challenging, you know, because the tone sounds the same, right? I know, but as you know that different pronunciation, they will have different meanings in Chinese. So it is challenging, but don't give up. Don't give up. The more you practice, the more you listening. The more time you circle the characters here, the third tone, and remind you to follow, you know, the rules of changing the third tone. When you get used to it, that it will be very easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, so don't give up. Okay, let's work harder. Let's make more effort and let's practice more. Okay, so let's see the next paragraph. That okay. For example, Li 老师说的，对不对？李老师，李老师，大家的想法都挺不错，挺有心思。Okay, 挺有心思。你们有没有 ？Okay, so let's read these two first. Okay, so read the first one. Okay, it should be Li 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 老师，想想想法。听听，听友，听友 ，OK， that is so easy， right？ We spot it， OK， let's see the rest of the paragraph。有没有想过让更多同学参与的活动呢？美德，对了，我们可以织围巾呢。Oh yes， we can， you know， 
knitting the scarf. 网上有叫用手指之围巾的, okay, spotted, okay. Maybe you don't know the meaning of the characters, but knowing the, um, the, the meaning of the uh, paragraph is not the, is not our priority in this lesson. We have to know that uh, the, the priority is the tone, is the pinyin. So you just find, just find, just look for the pinyin with the third tone, okay? Just look for the third tone. So which are third tone? This one, 手指的, okay? And what else? So this one, pronounce it as 手手. Show show okay, second term. Show show okay. So next paragraph. 治好，织围巾我可不在行。你给我指派别的工作吧。So you can see they have different different phrases shared with the third terms, right? Like 我可 我可,right? right? 我我,你给我,right?你给我,and what else? No Nini Okay. So when we're reading it, just remember we we'll only keep the last one as the original third tone and then change the rest of them into the second tone. When we are speaking, when we are speaking, remember when you are writing, when you are writing the pinyin. We should read the character one by one and then tune their sound, okay? We should mark the pinyin based on their original pinyin, original tone. We shouldn't be affected by speaking or spoken Chinese. But when you were speaking, forget about it. Just think about when two or more than two characters sharing third tone. Then we only keep the last character as the third tone and change the rest of them when you are speaking. Change it into the second tone. Okay, pay attention to it. That is that is very important, okay, of this lesson. Okay, the last two sentences is like Li Yi, mm, okay. So um we have be reading, you know, we have we have read this passage for a long time. And I really hope that you can learn more about what is the rules of the San San Sheng Bian Diao. The characters share third tones and they have to change their tones. Okay. I really hope that you can benefit more and be more familiar with these rules. Okay. And I know. There are so many swimming learners. You are you are aimed at UHSK like band six or band seven, right? So I'm looking forward to read your translation down below. If you know all the all the meaning of this paragraph, like this characters about the conversation between Mei De, Zhi Ha, Li Yi, talking about the Christmas party. Don't hesitate to comment below and let me know if you understand what the passage is talking about. Okay, I'm very happy, you know, to read it aloud with you guys later and check your comment below. So um, that is the San San Sheng, is the San San Sheng with two characters. That is the San San Sheng with three characters. And you know that you can come across with the char uh, the phrases with four characters or more than four. They are both, they are all sharing the third tone. So you just forget the difficult, you know, difficult theory from different books. Just remember one theory, one focus in Sumi's lesson, which is we only 
keep the last character, okay, as the original third tone, and change all the previous one, all the rest of them, into second tone when you are reading aloud. When you are reading aloud, not written Chinese, okay. Remember it. Remember it, okay. Sumi learners, I know it is a very challenging lesson because we don't have any English translation on our learning materials. We have to pay more attention on listening and also read the very difficult Chinese characters. And I do really hope that this kind of special episode or challenging task can help you guys to get involved into more difficult or challenging Chinese lesson. So if you guys are very interested or you like this kind of teaching, don't hesitate to let me know. And here, I'm here to wish you guys Merry Christmas again. And if you do like it, if you do really enjoy watching my videos, don't hesitate to like and subscribe my channel and also share my videos to all of your friends who are interested in learning Mandarin Chinese, okay? Moreover, don't hesitate to follow my Instagram, Sumi Learn Chinese. I would like to share all of my some exciting moments in my daily life in Chinese, especially the daily expression, okay? So last but not least, 圣诞快乐, Sumi Learners! Hope you guys, 希望你们有过一个快乐的圣诞节, and you receive 可以拿到很多很多的圣诞礼物。So see you guys next time. Bye bye.